All right, so today we're going to learn to replace a texture in the game. In a previous video, we created this awesome tattoo work. And we're going to apply it to our skater in game. So to do that, we need to know where this file exists. So here in U model, after logging into it and using your code, you will find that in the customization, characters, AMXX, body base, textures, you will find texture underscore AMXX underscore body underscore base. So in our project, we should recreate this folder structure. So starting at game, game and content are the same. So you do not need an extra folder. Treat them exactly as if they are the same thing. So the next folder we need is customization. This is case sensitive. So make sure that you do spell it properly with the right capital letters. Inside customization, we need characters. Inside of characters, we need AMXX. Side of AMXX, we need body base. Inside of body base, we need texture. Keep an eye on this because some folders you will find some say textures and some say texture. So keep a very close eye on that. That also happens with materials quite often. And I believe one of them is even spelled AILS instead. And this has to match. So in this texture folder, we now have this file that we want. Now we can do this one of two ways. We can right click and choose import and navigate to our texture that we have on the desktop and import. Or we can drag the texture into here and import. Either way works just fine. Now this file needs to match this name. Because it matches just fine and it's in the right folder structure, everything is ready to go. Now all we have to do is cook our files to be used in the game. And to do that, we click File, Cook Content for Windows. See down here, it's cooking content. We can show the output log. Most of this, you won't understand what it's saying. I don't understand what it's saying. But you will see at some point that it'll tell you how many packages are remaining and how many it has already cooked. When that hits zero is when this will be done cooking. The very first time you cook in a project takes the longest. Every time afterwards is much faster. Right here, cook packages zero, packages remaining 93. Now it should be done packaging. Skaters left to compile zero. That was actually a really quick cook. And mostly I'm assuming because we barely have anything in the project. So now that this is cooked, back in our project folder here, we can navigate this content folder is the same as this content folder. We don't want to use this because this is uncooked files. This is the raw files used in the project. In order to find your finalized files, your cooked ones, you would navigate to saved, cooked, windows no editor, your project name, and content. Now these are the cooked files. What I do, so I don't have to navigate through that every time, is I will go back up a page to where I see the content folder. I will right click and choose create shortcut. I'll then cut this shortcut and go back up to the project folder here. Paste it. And just for my own sake, I'll name it cooked content shortcut. That way every time I cook, 
Every time I cook the project, I can just click on this, and here's my cooked content. Now, the file we want is in customization. Okay, so we will zip the customization folder. And we can name this anything we want. We're going to name it Thug Life. Alright, so, opening session mod manager now. Opening session mod manager. We can now navigate to the third tab, which is for gear. We can take this zip, drag it right to the top, and choose import. Successfully finished importing mod thug light. Right. Now, when we load in game, all right. Now that we're in game, you can see my awesome tattoo work. Can't see nothing because of the clothes I'm wearing, but open up this little menu I got here. So here's the default skater. You can see the awesome tattoos on his arms. And over here, if we go to the store. We can uh, apparently not take our shirt off. I see. Is that only an apartment thing? There you go. Thug life. See that? Now, if I do not want this in my project anymore, or in my game, I navigate to this tab, scroll down to Thug Life, and choose Delete. And now, it will revert back to the default texture in-game, and nothing has been ruined. See, no more tattoos. All is well. And that concludes this tutorial. The next tutorial, we will work on, be working on materials to show you how to get customization to your textures.